Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action. Now before we begin I just want to apologise for not making any videos over the last couple of days. That was because I've been quite uh, busy with my cousin stag do so apologies uh, for uh, not making the video. Also as well I did put something up on Twitter about it that I wasn't doing any videos. So go and follow me on Twitter at Lucky Loaders 15 if you don't follow me there already. Anyway, without further ado, we'll get straight into the action. No time wasting. And it's in the 355 at Windsor with a horse called Parnassian. 72 best odds for bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Amanda Parrott. Jason Watson is booked for the ride. Now, Amanda Parrott, Ciada in really good form at the moment, operating at a 36% strike rate in the last two weeks. Also, as well, Jason Watson is going to be able to claim a good £3 here. He's had a stellar season, picking up a lot of winners, a lot of good experiences along the way, and he's booked for the ride. He's riding really well at the moment. And this horse, even though the form figures don't suggest that it's running really well it is going quite well really last time out it was really unlucky not to uh, finish better in a race at Windsor over the course and distance it was VJ Day uh, making his stable debut for uh, Martin uh, Mead which I tipped up on the other YouTube channel that I do a bit of work for that won that race but it was a blanket finish between all of them and Parnassian was running on really strongly at the end and I think this race tomorrow at Windsor is a little bit more easier than it ran against last time so that's going to be the first selection there. We then go to the 5.30 with a horse called Dombra. Now this one I will admit is a little bit of a massive outsider at the moment. 20 to 1 bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Hugo Palmer. Pat Cosgrave is booked for the ride. Now this one does have the sexy pedigree being by uh, Frankel but unfortunately it hasn't really delivered uh, too much so far. I was there at uh, Salisbury where it's probably got its be uh, best piece of form when it finished second behind Andrew Boulding's horse Seti. The third horse of Roger Charlton's um, Momkin subsequently uh, boosted that form but apart from that Dombra has been very inconsistent however I think you can probably forgive it a few of its runs and tomorrow I think this is probably the easiest race it's ran in for some time and it might not win but maybe if you just wanted to take this one out and maybe do it as an each way bet I think it could definitely give you a good run for your money it's dropping in class also as well I think a few other times it's just not not been um not been its day for whatever reason but I just thought Dombra tomorrow even though yeah it has been inconsistent I think those runs have been too bad to be true and still only two years old and I think it's still got a lot of learning to do but I thought maybe Dombra tomorrow could be worth a small each way punt we then go for a bit of all weather action at Newcastle in the 550 with a horse called Lyth on Earth now it's 9-2 roundabout with bookmakers at the moment trained by William Haggis Andrea Azani is booked for the ride and this horse uh, ran two miles last time in a very competitive uh, handicap at Musselburgh, which I don't think it quite got the trip that day. That was really a, a good piece of form, really. You had the likes of Austrian School in there, Timoshenko as well, Sir Mark Prescott's horse, all with uh, good, strong form claims. I think the drop back and trip tomorrow will definitely suit life on Earth. Drop back to a mile and a half, and I'm expecting a good run from this horse tomorrow. Also as well, Andrea Zane, he's definitely a positive jockey booking. He doesn't ride too many for the guitar racing club but he's booked for this one tomorrow and I'm going to recommend that one there we then finish off the video going with um, the 720 at Newcastle with a horse called Little Joe we ran about 2-1 to one best odds of bookmakers at the moment trained by Brian Ellison Callum Rodriguez is booked for the ride now this um, horse uh, won quite convincingly last time at Newmarket where it's been put up £7 for that win but this horse is already a course and distance winner which I definitely think definitely think helps at Newcastle Castle. It's always a bit of it's a fair track, but it's one of those tracks that if you hit the front too early, it can really be your downfall. But little Joe's got a good turn of foot for a, for a horse, and I thought really tomorrow with it having four out of five wins for Brian Ellison since he's acquired this horse, I thought I had a strong chance in this race, and I'm going to recommend that as our last selection. So they're the four horse racing tips for tomorrow's horse racing action. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15. Also, as well, you can follow me on Twitter, like I said at the top of the video, at, the, at Lucky Loads 15 on Twitter. So check me out if you haven't done so already. And also, as well, you can check out uh, my work with the Panthers page. Just type them in on uh, YouTube and you should find the links. Anyway, that's all i got to say. Please gamble responsibly. Hopefully, we can have some winners tomorrow. And we'll be seeing you soon.